I'm at SOS Festival 2019. I'm just about to talk. <laughs> I'm with a very lovely Sons of Liberty. Very nice to meet you. How are you all? Thanks, Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Thanks. this your first time at SOS? Yes. It is, yeah. Um, what do you think of it? Yeah, yeah it's great. How's it going so far? Well, it's pretty good. Good yeah, to be here. A lot of people. Good to be here. Yeah, really nice vibe. It is. Now, it's cool the way they've got the uh, two stages set up as well. With yeah, the, uh, the acoustic. Cool. And yeah, 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 that's really good. Yeah. Very cool. You enjoy your set? Uh, we haven't played yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We've got to pretend we've played. We're on <laughs> it's Thursday night. We didn't talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I'm in here all night. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah, get yeah. to see anyone. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was damn good. <laughs> yeah. I heard you did really well. Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was yeah, particularly we good. the roof down. I want to know how your band started and when. Okay, well. How did you get together? Uh, it goes back to 2014. Um, I bought a guitar from Birmingham, so I was driving up to pick it up. Freddie tagged along in the van, yep. and um, on the way back, we ran out of things to talk about, so I put some music on the iPod, just random play, and it came out with about probably about eight of the next ten songs that came out were southern rock songs. Yeah. And we kind of thought, hold on a minute, we should form a band and do some of this stuff. So, so that's kind of where we started. Um, as a covers straight tribute band really yeah. to start with. Uh, and that what, went, what sort of songs are we covering? Uh, we we're doing a few classics by sort of Skinner and Blackfoot, <coughs> but a few sort of left field things as well, Almond Brothers, um, Blackstone Cherry, Blackstone Cherry, a bit, heavy, well, bit of Molly yeah. Hatchet, a yeah. bit of heavier stuff as well yeah. with the drop D tuning yeah. and things. Preacher yeah. Stone. Yeah, Preacher yeah. Stone, yeah. So, um, and, and we moved, we kind of gigged that around the Southwest, South Wales for a few years. And um, uh, so when was, uh, so we're looking back to what, about 17 now, when uh, yeah. when we had a bit of a break, I think Mark, you went away on holiday and... Um, no gigs all of a sudden. All of a sudden we had, we had a, some time. Yeah. And uh, I've, always, I've, I've been writing <laughs> kind of riffs and things constantly. I thought, well, let's, you know, let's do our own stuff, give it a whirl and see how it goes. Because we hadn't written together before. Yeah. Uh, and that was, and it just, it went really well. So. Yeah. They started yeah. to go down better than some of our uh, cover versions. Yeah. And we were thinking, yeah. hang on, Straight what's happening away, here? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Strange. So that was, yeah, that was the start of it, kind of, us you know, moving across to being original. Yeah, so early 2018, we're in the studio. Yeah. Uh, we recorded the Shinola EP, and the response to that has been fantastic. And Where did the name come from for that? Um, uh, <laughs> Well, yeah. Is it, is it dot, 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 Chanel? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. We're allowed to swear. It's like no, yeah, like no, no shit, but it's Shinola. That's, that's kind yeah. of a famous saying. It's an American, American saying. saying. Oh. If it's not yeah. shit, it's Shinola. It's yeah. shoe polish. Yeah. It's either shiny or it, yeah. So the idea was, it's not shit. Yeah. Which clearly, clearly <laughs> we, we hoped it wouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bit of a risk. It was a bit of a risky title, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and you released other EP, didn't you? Yeah, so Asian you Oak. Released, released two very close yeah, together. and that was later the same year yes, because we'd still yeah. been writing um, uh, riffs and ideas, and we'd enjoyed it so much we kind of couldn't wait to get back in. Yeah. And so we kind of did an album in two halves. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. But so we were both impatient. EPs. So yeah. rather than putting yeah. out an album, you did it the yeah. right yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. So across yeah. The, across the two EPs, eleven songs is pretty much an album. And uh, but the response from the first EP was just so inspiring yeah. that um, um, you know so what were we July so six months yeah. later we were back in the studio again with another six songs six EP, yeah. and um, and off we went again you know so uh, so yeah. that was kind of, that was kind of last year response that was kind of last year for us which was um, which was pretty cool really yeah and are you writing at the moment uh, we're recording we're in the studio so. Oh, okay. So yeah, we've been in. Soon. We were in a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, a studio called Monkey in, in, in West Wales, Pembrokeshire. Uh, um, am I right like thinking you're from Bristol? You're based in Bristol, Bristol? South Wales. So a couple yeah. of the guys just yeah. over the, yeah. the, the, the Seven Estuary. We span the Seven Estuary, okay. uh, like the bridge. Um, so yeah, we have carried on writing. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to do an album this time so we could get a bit, a bit of flow through the songs. Yeah. Um, so we're kind of halfway through and we're back in. Sunday, Sunday to carry on. Oh, so, right. yeah. okay, back, so we're straight back Sunday. to the studio. Yeah, yeah. So obviously we're not here so, oh, yeah, the whole weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're back in the studio Sunday yeah. and a couple, few days to try and finish the guitars and make a start on the vocals. Wow. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And that'll be out. Yeah. Possibly be out in the autumn, but we've we've yeah we've got to work out the dates and things yet and make sure we get plenty of time to promote it and 
And you want something called the Whiskey Run at the moment? Yeah. Tell me that's about right. That. Yeah. Well, it's the age you know because the, the title age you know yeah. it's about eight barrels. Yeah. So yeah, we try and get a little bit of a theme for, for the tours as well. Um, yeah. So Whiskey Run at the moment, and our autumn uh, tour will be Rise in the Fall. So. Okay. Uh, and where are you going to be playing? Do you know? Uh, we've got a little string of dates uh, in October, which are our own gigs, uh, starting uh, Blackpool in yeah. uh, um, Waterloo. Waterloo, yeah. Waterloo yeah. Um, and we're trying to hook something up the day after. Then we're down to... Um, the old next? vaults. The old vault, the old Wayne vaults in vaults, Nottingham. Nottingham. Then, then Bristol the day after. It's a memory yeah. test. It's yeah, a it is. Yeah, 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 remember is. where you're playing but what from the, day. From yeah. this point onwards, for the rest of this year, is solid. Is pretty crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so we've got quite... A, quite a lot of good stuff in August and then in September we're doing Hard Rock Hell Cruise oh, nice. and um, and then in December uh, Planet Rockstock down at um, Cornwall Rock, well, down at Tracker Bay. Question, actually. I was going to ask if you're doing any other festivals. Yeah, yeah. Cornwall yeah. the Blues Custom, Co isn't it? Cornwall Rocks in, uh, sticks. in November. In London. Four Sticks in November. Yeah. Well, in yeah. September. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah, we've yeah. got a lot on. Yeah. So that's kind I of... Have, I hope we haven't missed any out. Yeah, um, we probably have. Yeah. Custom <laughs> Blues. Ready? Rock and, no, rock yeah. and Blues. Rock and Blues Custom Show. Two weeks. Next. This month, yeah. This month. This month. yeah. yeah. Are you already busy. booking up for next year? Yeah, as yeah. Well? yeah, yeah. And we've already got the headline at Rock Force. Okay. Um, Martin from Hardwell Hell, you know, Martin Short runs that. That's back in Blackpool. Yeah. Uh, we're headlining this Sunday, and that's they're amazing bands already lined up. Yeah. That's doing really well. And um, we got some we can't talk about yet. Oh. Um, we got Giants so got of Rock, got obviously, in, in and, January. Yeah, we're back at Giants of Rock at Minehead on the main stage, which is enormous. So yeah. Yeah, we, nervous about that we played the uh, introducing stage yeah. last year and we were lucky enough to win the fan vote yeah. and that gets us a main stage slot for this year so uh, so yeah Friday we should be opening up the main stage at Giants of Rock which should be pretty cool and that, yeah. that arena is kind of it's several thousand people it's it huge. could be if they sell that number of tickets so yeah. that would be quite an experience to play yeah. that one. and a lot of our, uh, our own gigs coming up we're going out with Scarlet Rebels Yep. Black whiskey. We got some gigs lined up with collateral, collateral piston, piston. Yep. Uh, so we got yeah, some really yeah. nice uh, trouble yes. counting from Portsmouth. Yeah. So that you know you meet really great bands yeah, when you're out there, yeah. and we yeah. try and put shows on together. So we, you know in between the festivals and the bigger shows, we've got yeah some really nice. So I've got a question for you. Why do you think Southern Rock is so popular at the moment in the UK more than at any other time that I remember? It comes There's from some the amazing soul. Southern Rock bands coming through. Comes from through. the soul. Yeah. Every song has got a story, um, and I think that's important. Um, every song that uh, we all write, it's got something of a truth about it. It's and not just sex, drugs, and rock and roll, is not, it? No, it's, 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 it's something that's we've written from our hearts, I think. Most, yeah. And I think that's the most important thing. We believe in what we're doing, and we like what we're doing, and it's, and it's you know, it's, it's something that I guess over so many years, a lot of ages here. I won't tell you. Well, I will. 286 years. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not including you. Including you. No, no, no. no. Say how much that adds. That's just that's 20, isn't it? That's 20. Yeah. Okay. Um, but no, it's 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 a great thing to be part of because we're, we're getting recognition from some of the bands over in in America as well, and that's quite nice. And we've been played over there as well, which is nice. So yeah, it's certainly close to our own hearts, isn't it? Yeah. Have you had much airplay in the UK? In the UK, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah really good. So most of the independent support. radio stations have really lined up behind us, that's and that started right from from Shinola. Yeah. And and we weren't really prepared for yeah. when Asian Oak came out. Came out. It's because there'd been a steady growth yeah. um, after the release of Shinola. It was just like a big bang when um, Asian Oak hit. So most of the stations that had played us over the previous few months. Yeah. We're playing two, three tracks a week. You know, it was actually quite overwhelming to keep up with, wasn't it? You yeah, because when you first start getting played on the radio, you kind of you, you have to listen to it because yeah. it's really, and then you can't do it because you're on that one and then that one and then that one, and it's and you feel bad because yeah, people it, are supporting yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the, right. the, the yeah. DJs that have supported us, I'm not going to name checking because I'm terrified of leaving someone out. <laughs> but, and there's too uh, many to mention. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. I mean, thanks. Yeah, yeah. folks, yeah. they've been amazing. They, they yeah. really have got behind us. Yeah. If you could tour with any band, who would it be? Oh, should we go? Well, they've, just gone, they've just gone back to America, yeah. haven't they? Who is it? Skinhead. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. That, would, that would have been quite something yeah, to be here. Yeah. 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 So done something like that. Yeah. Cadillacs yeah. would be great. Yeah. 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 Hogjaw yeah. would be great. Yeah, Hogjaw would be great. Yeah. I mean, that band realistically yeah. could tour with. I mean, amazing. Creature Stone, if they could ever come over here, which I hope they do at one time. There's yeah. quite a few little, yeah. little kind of under, underground southern rock bands in the US yeah. that are desperate to come over. Yeah. And we're in contact with them, you know, we chat with them, good friends with some of them. And yeah, if we could really, if we could put something together yeah. to get a couple of those guys to come yeah. over, we'll join him. They want to come well. over. They're, they're terrified of not covering the flights. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Skinny yeah. Molly we've supported in the past. Yeah, so yeah. We'd like Molly to do some stuff with them again. That was yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, good fun. I mean, they're yeah. good fun. And they've got yeah. they've got a track record as well because my guest is has played with. Skinner, and, you know, and one, Jay, one Jay Johnson, Jay oh, Johnson's playing yeah. with Blackfoot, so uh, and we had him playing with us as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's really yeah, good. Jay it's that connection. Yeah. 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 So it does seem to be there's like a little Southern Rock family thing going yeah, on. Definitely. So uh, in the way, in the same way that the Cadillac Three always bring over a couple of their mates, you know, when they come over from the states and. You know, bands like Tyler Bryant and the Shakedown have yeah. come over and Osborne yeah. Brothers. On oh, the Osborne Brothers. Osborne Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, and look where they are now. Both of these bands are really yeah. kicking ass, you know. So uh, so yeah, all this all that kind of stuff would be really cool. But you know, we're the the kind of festivals that we've got booked on have been quite overwhelming, you know yeah. what I mean? It's, Which has uh, been the biggest uh, gig you've played so far. Well, yeah. I think Giants of Rock, Giants was, of Rock was is a, probably a, a massive milestone. Just before that, we played actually with Choir Boys, who were here later. Yeah. Yes, we, we did an unplugged gig with them at the Fleet in Bristol, and that was just before Christmas, and that was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then about t two weeks after that, we were at Giants of Rock. It was a bit of a competition, so yeah. you're a bit frightened. Uh, and it, yeah, just a reaction. The room was rammed. Yeah. People, people were really enjoying it, and you just feed off that. If we could bottle uh, it, we would. Yeah, yeah. we were that. That was a hometown as well. Which yeah. was, we didn't yeah. find out we'd won the vote because we were all off celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We already thought it was a success before we found yeah. out we'd actually yeah. won the fan vote, yeah. which was uh, which yeah. was pretty amazing. It must be incredible. The rest of the weekend was a bit of a blur after. I can that. Imagine. Yeah. As was the drive home on the yes. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. All right, look, I want to thank you so much for talking to me. I hope you thank have you. a great evening. Thanks. Enjoy your set, which you haven't played yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've established that. It's a really great festival. So, you know, going to have an amazing Fantastic. time. We'd like just to thank our fans. Thank you very much, guys, for supporting us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to everyone at SOS Festival. Please like and subscribe. Until next time. This is Rock and Roll! Yeah.